Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. Today, we're going to spend some time discussing about work-life balance. So, before I started recording this video, I've posted an article on LinkedIn for everybody to review it, read it, and understand the points that I have made there. So, while you read that article, one point is going to hit you. And that is to have balance between your work and your life is your responsibility. Getting balance in my job, work or my life is my responsibility. All right, so, hmm, security cam. So, the point that I want to make today in this video is very simple. Take accountability of your life, take accountability of your work, and you will achieve balance. But we all need to understand that our work and our life are not two separate entities without work there is no life without life there is no work so how do we manage it what should we do to ensure that we have a better quality of life so in order to have a better quality of life we need to have better understanding of how to manage money. Now, it, before we start managing money, we need to have money. How do we get money? Very difficult question. How do we get money? By working. Isn't that too difficult to answer? Yes, we need to work to earn money. Now it depends on the kind of work that we do and the amount of money we make. Who is going to change that? The kind of work we do changes when we invest in ourselves. What do I mean? Invest in ourselves is when we train ourselves. You have put some money in training, developing your skills, making yourself an important person. Right? So that's what is invest in yourself to get a better work right a better work means better compensation today you may not know your hourly rate but I'd encourage you guys to go ahead and find your hourly rate we all have hourly rate as long as we are working even if we have our own businesses we have hourly rate which is basically what we are earning by the amount of work that we are doing in the number of hours so that will give you the hourly rate the question here is how to increase number of hours is going to be same we all have to sleep we all have to get up we have to do a lot of other things we have to go, go to the gym work out i'm still thinking about it a lot of other things that we have to do so we all have a certain number of hours and that's constant. It can fluctuate a little bit, but it's constant. Right? So things that the thing that can change is the amount of money that you want to charge for your hour. How do you increase that? By 
improving the quality of work that you do. How do you improve that? By investing in yourself, making yourself the best at it, making yourself the specialist of what you do. So that's the most important thing that I want to tell you is spend on yourself to have a better work which gives you a better life. Right? Now, there are certain other things that we need to discuss. And they are the needs that we have. Right? We know quality of life, the better quality of life, the better balance, the better joy we have. But we need to understand the needs that are there which governs the quality of life. So to tell you, uh, I've summed up the needs that I could think of. There are just four of them. Health, emotions, spirituality, and social. The other four needs that we have, if you can think of any more, just comment in the comment sections and we can discuss about that. But it will be good to find more if we have. But as of now, what I can think of are these four. Health is super important. Unless we are healthy, we cannot do anything. So we got to be healthy. right? We need to sleep properly. We need to eat properly. We need to work out. We need to, we need to take care of our body in very simple ways. No joint pains, right? We need to take care of ourselves. So you got to put that time there. You have to invest that time. Second is your emotions. You want to be happy. You want to be joyful. You want to have love. You want to have all kinds of things. But one most important emotion that is sense of security. And how do you get a get sense of security? What gives you sense of security? Well, I can't talk about life and death. But uh, one other type of sense of security is from job, right? If you have job security, you, are, you feel secured. So how do you get job security? Your manager coming and telling you that you are safe and secured, you'll not be fired, is that sense of security? You making sure that your manager is always happy, does that give you job security? I think no. Job security is something that I define is that you're confident and comfortable at any given point of time to quit your current job and get another job. That is job security for me. Which means you are the best at what you do. You are super cool at what you do. And then you have right talent, right skills because you're investing in yourself. That anybody in the market is ready to hire you in split second. So that for me is job security. And that's how you should look at job security. That you are strong, you know what you do, you're the best at it. And at any given point of time, you can change companies just like energy it changes form you are energy jumping on to spirituality we all need that little time for us to spend with the heavenly being when nothing works that works so we should allocate some time and in my case if i am not able to allocate some time for God, I don't feel complete. So it's important. Some may laugh at it, some may joke about it. Go ahead, no problems. And the last one is social need. Now this is the virus. Okay, Social need is the virus. As long as it is contained, you are happy. The moment it starts spreading, everything is imbalanced after that. 
So this is where you have to focus. This is where you have to keep your emotions in check. This is where you have to ensure that you're level headed. Social need is important. You need to be socially relatable. You need to look good. You need to dress up well. You need to have enough to have a good house, a good car, be able to take care of your family. You need to have right insurances. You should take your parents, if in case they need hospital treatment, you should be able to take them to the best hospital possible. So these needs are perfect. The moment it goes beyond this, such as you need to upgrade your phone the very next day iPhone releases a new one. That's crazy. Do you really need to do that? Because in order to do that, you are affecting the balance. That definitely breaks your balance. So think of these needs. So what I'm trying to tell you is life is a scale divided in these needs. Look at which need is important spend on those needs that will improve quality of life and that's what i wanted to share today i again ask you guys to go ahead and read the article it definitely hits you gives you a new perspective about work-life balance work-life balance is not about corporates doing a freaky Friday or a quarterly day out it's not that it's the amount of time it's it's basically you've got a kid you should be able to spend time with him or her quality time you're newly married you should be able to spend time with your wife you should be able to meet your siblings you should be able to take care of your parents that is where the real life is. And again, planning is very important. You got to plan your life. You got to plan your work. Okay, I can keep going on and on about all of this. So I just want to end it right now. I hope the point is put across. It is, where's the camera? It is your responsibility it is your responsibility to balance your work and your life and always understand they both are together they cannot exist without each other all right then see you on the next episode of ravi's focus hive bye bye